Hey viewers, it's the white man. I know what you probably thought. Oh, he lost his file at 4-9. Yeah, he, this Let's Play is going to be dead. I mean, he'll never go back to it. That'll take effort. Guess who went back to it? Guess whose new computer lags on these floors with my recording software? But I'm putting up with it, and so should you, viewers. After all, it's a really fun game. For now. Yeah, I even remember to set the music back uh, to uh, the version 1 and 2 before I started recording. And speaking of setting the music back, because um, I'm not going to get a chance to use the song anywhere else, yeah, we're going to get a little funky with this. I'm taking on Komachi's ghosts. What's that mean? It means Higan Retour. Now, um, I know a few things now that I didn't last time I fought these ghosts. Like, say for one, I have Kapapa Kapapa Nitori. Now, it's one of those things, it's nice. Um, two, you get more than you pay for with Megawatt Linear Gun. Yeah. Three. I do like people, but since last recording this, I found out that I do in fact like cucumber rolls more than people. Mostly because most people are dumb. Not my viewers, you guys are really legit, but I mean... Just everyday people, like at school, and work, and such and the like. You're not gonna kill Patchy with a magical attack, you're dumb. Why did I switch Nitori back? She can't use uh, Megawatt Gun yet. It's okay, it's only 44,444 health. Oh, and by the way, I did give Nitori uh, two paralysis resist rings, because, well, that actually gives her perfect paralysis evasion, and that means she no get hit by the paralysis of uh, Thundercloud's Stickleback. Iku and Nitori in 3 point whatever is probably the most overpowered combination because Iku's buff is better, Nitori's gun is better. It's just not, it's unreal. I think uh, before 3.0, Nitori's megawatt linear gun, uh, yeah, Ghostbusters, yo. No, screw that game. Anyway, I'll, I'll meet you guys at the uh, next ghost, and I'll continue to, continue to talk about the gun and whatnot there. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I believe Nitori's uh, guns formula in before 3.0 was 450% of her attack. I could be wrong, maybe it was something like 600. But with the patch to 3.0, it became 1,000%. Iku's buff, I believe, used to be like 40% rather than 72%. So the both of them received a massive buff in uh, 3.0 to make them a lot more viable as characters because, well, if you've seen pa what Parallaxel's done with the game, uh, he took, what was it, Team Unappreciated through the post game content? And uh, Nitori was one of them because. Again, she had horrible formulas back then. And of course, I'm pretty sure he was using 3. Point whatever at that point. Either way, uh, it doesn't matter. The point is, um, yeah, Nitori used to be a mech character, and then once 3.0 came out, boom, she's up there with characters like. Spoiler, and the one I haven't gotten yet, and, you know, them. I, I've heard the, the Megawatt Linear Gun compared to Master Spark in terms of attack power, but then it's also better because Nitori doesn't expend all of her SP casting it. Uh, the power of Plasma? I'm not sure I get this reference because I don't have my uh, translation notes open at the moment, but... 
Eh, they're pretty incomprehensible to me, so. Alright, I'll meet you at number three. You know, this is really easy. It's like shooting dead things in a barrel of dead things. I think that's my best simile ever. Ah, you killed me, Tori, and for that, you must perish. Again. Paralysis? Oh no. I think not. But see, her buff isn't too shabby on Yugi, it just about doubles her damage. But sadly, that's pretty much all Iku's good for. I mean, she's got an above average mind growth, but. I mean, Rico's got that in spades, and so does Pachi. I mean, I suppose, and don't quote me on this because I'm probably wrong, but Iku, Pachi, and uh, Minoriko are probably the three best characters to build into mind tanks. Well, I don't know. That one character might be. I'm going to keep saying that one character because I refuse to spoiler anything in the videos. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be that way. If you want to know, you can either comment it or PM me. Yeah, that's how I'm going to roll. But, uh, yeah, I suppose there are better ta uh, mind tanks than Iku. But... Meh. Oh, well, that was unpleasant. I didn't even RSVP or anything, you just assumed I wanted death. Damn, I didn't think I could come up with a pun for an invitation to death. Pun? Joke? I don't even care anymore. It is after midnight, and it is the weekend. My knowledge of English terms is not... encyclopedic right now. Anyway, it's three down. Actually, yes, indeed it is. Yes, you know, the yokai extermination. You're starting to sound like the blue-white. Anyway, enough about that player too, Miko. I'll meet you at the last one, you know, the one that ate me before. Zack, why are you so critical of the hungry undead? Don't you like Yuyuko? Yeah, I like Yuyuko just fine. She's an okay character. My problem lies with, uh... Oh, hey, you just instant death to Mei Ling. That's, that's lovely. That's beautiful. Now, my problem lies with, uh... Oh, crud, it's been so long since I played Ten Desires already. Um... Let's see, it's Yuyuko... And then it's, uh... Kyoko... Yoshika! There we go, Yoshika. I absolutely despise Yoshika. Because of the Stage 4 boss fight. This is why I hate the Hungry Undead. They're not allowed to exist in my book. You know, also, like, vampires and zombies and such, they've become way too played out. Says the one who watched the Blade Trilogy today. <laughs> oh, but those were good. Well... One and three were okay. Nah, they were all pretty good. Hey, it's not pleasant. I love how the only character that's managed to get instant death, not counting, you know, actual instant death from damage like Yugi or Mitsuri, is Mei Ling. But hey, whatever. That's four ghosts down, you know what that means. Huh. That sounds really bad for me, Ravo. Anyway, I will meet you on the seventh floor, and we will pick up, well, someone. All right, so I switched Iku back out for uh, Marisa because, eh, again, Iku's not that fantastic. Oh, the random battles of little power, perish before the bite of Yugi. That was beautiful. And now... Yeah, we beat them. What what? Oh, well, it's another wriggle mishap. Oh well. 
Oh, yeah. Aki can't be happy about that. Oh, <laughs> true enough. Uh, CS? I don't think so. Huh? Indeed. Oh, yeah. We have plenty of things that need doing right now. And this is a true story. Asking favors of us is always a bad idea. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Hey, now that's thinking. Oh, well, excellent. Komachi's got a good way to look at things. Yeah, that's a little, uh... That's irony for you. Death God teaching you how to live life. Now, I know I do most of my leveling up off-screen so as not to bore you viewers, but, well, I've got important things to do. First of all, I'm henceforth banishing Romilia from my party. Because Komachi is my second tank. And she's got amazing, the best HP growth in the game. And it only fits that I play to that. Actually, no. I'm actually giving her all, um... Uh, affinity items, because... Actually, you don't need a love machine. You could use... Star World Bracelet, yes. Because... Komachi... She doesn't get defenses, like a normal tank. See? Look at that, look at that. Already almost... And... Mailing has two HP items on, so... Yeah. But yeah, Komachi, she doesn't get, um... Defenses like a tank. All her defenses comes from... Wow, that was grammar. All her defense comes from... The enormous bubble of HP she has... And her elemental affinities. Now, for the bosses I'm going to be fighting in the near future... She needs Cold, Nature, and Mystic Resistances. Putting the two extra points into Nature because it's a little behind. But yeah, she's definitely going to need those for the next couple of bosses. Uh, I haven't decided which boss I'm going to do next, whether I'm going to do the Storyline boss or get the last uh, Frozen Frog, but... Well, I'll get to that when I get to that. Uh, when I get to that, I'll see you then, viewers. This is White Man 1992 signing off. Have a good one.